Hi, my name's Mark, and today I'm going to show you what I think is a, a pretty fair homemade log splitter. Um, this one's powered by a 13 horsepower uh, Honda engine. It's uh, hydraulically uh, operated. It's uh, got a uh, 22 gallon per minute, 3,000 psi uh, two stage pump, um, and that's driving a uh, five inch main cylinder with a uh, two and a half inch uh, shaft. This lug splitter also has some uh, additional features. Um, for example, you can see here, it's got a uh, four-way split blade and this uh, blade is attached to a lever that allows it to be hydraulically lifted up and down so you can actually adjust the, the four-way split to the center of the log up to 24 inches. Um, you can also see in the background that it has a, a log lifting table on it. So for those really big logs, you can just roll them up and lift them up. And uh, if you're just using it in normal operations, you can uh, lower that to kind of a flat table position and uh, stack up four or five logs at a time to uh, split. And it's just, just real convenient. So for those of you who like to uh, build these things uh, like I do, I'll go ahead and give you a, a tour of the, the splitter and how this thing is put together and then we'll go ahead and we'll split some wood and I'll show it to you in operation. The slot for the uh, adjustable blade on this splitter was made by uh, first cutting away a, a section of the front end of the I-beam um, and then welding some <clears throat> half inch uh, bar, half inch by five inch bar to the I-beam uh, extending out uh, creating a slot that that blade could slide through and um, as you can see, then a, a backing blade was put behind it uh, to take the force of the, the splitting. And then this was all further reinforced, come here dog, um, by a piece of four by four tubing that was slotted and then um, welded in to, uh, to further reinforce it. You can see that to adjust the blade, there's an uh, an arm that comes down on a pivot that hangs down under the uh, splitter which is actuated by a uh, small hydraulic cylinder. There's a little uh, one and a half by six inch hydraulic cylinder there. And we'll, we'll show you that in operation uh, just a little bit later. Here you can see the log lifter from underneath to show you how that was put together. Um, you can see there's a, a cylinder there that has a couple of bearings in it with a stainless steel shaft uh, coming through that the lifter pivots on. Um, and then you can see the, the clevis mounts for the, uh, the cylinder actuating that as well. And again, we'll, we'll show you that in operation uh, just a little bit later. Let's move on to the hydraulics. As uh, stated in the beginning, this is a 22 gallon per minute uh, dual stage pump, um, high low pump, uh, that has a maximum uh, pressure of 3000 psi. Um, probably bigger than you, you need typically for a log splitter, um, but with the 13 horsepower engine I tend to run it, you know, probably about 2400 RPM, about two thirds its speed, which makes things a little quieter and more pleasant to work around. And having that bigger pump keeps uh, enough flow going that the uh, cylinder will cycle at a fairly reasonable rate. The hydraulics are fed by a 12-gallon uh, tank that you can see right there, which seems to uh, keep the temperature uh, more than cool enough for normal operations of this unit. Um, if you think about it, 22 gallons per minute, that uh, tank is being completely emptied and refilled about twice a minute. Here's the shot of the hydraulic valves. Um, you can see that the, the feed comes in High pressure line comes in here, comes around and feeds this uh, dual spool uh, valving right here. This first valve actuates the uh, blade lifter up and down and this uh, actuates the log lifting table up and down. Uh, this has a what's called a power beyond port which will send hydraulic uh, high pressure oil to the next valve and then there's uh, an exhaust return line here that goes down to a uh, oil hydraulic filter and back into the tank. This high pressure line feeds the main cylinder 
Uh, this happens to have an auto return on it, um, which is convenient. And then I have uh, steel high pressure lines that feed that. And then again, you have uh, uh, the return line low pressure, which uh, tees together with the other return line back into the hydraulic filter. Well, let's start this thing up now and, and see how it works. We'll uh, look at the uh, blade lifter first. Um, you'll be able to see how the arm actuates uh, the blade up and down. It actually has a pin that uh, slides in a slot at the bottom of the blade. When the blade is all the way down, the top of the um, four-way split or the horizontal split is flush with the top of the table so if you want to use it as conventional log splitter you just bring the blade all the way down and then you can just use it uh, as a normal log splitter. So let's start her up. You could probably hear that the uh, the engine was laboring a little bit as the uh, the blade went up and down and the log lifter went up and down, and that's not because of uh, any binding or anything. That's actually because I have orifices in the lines to keep the um, blade from moving up and down too quickly, or the log lifter to launch a log over the top of the the uh, log lifter. Um, there's enough flow in this with those little cylinders that they would actuate much, much too quickly. So I've got uh, one sixteenth of an inch uh, orifices that that oil has to go through. Now that's not typically the best thing because those orifices will heat up the oil, but um, it's it's used so infrequently um, that it really it it has no effect whatsoever in practical terms. Well, I've set a couple of logs up on the uh, lifting table, so uh, let's start this thing up and uh, watch it split some wood. Uh, starting a Honda is never much of a problem. Let's give this thing a pull. Okay, drop that on the table. Adjust the blade to the center of the wood. Let's do some splitting. You can see there's an automatic return, which is uh, convenient. And you can see it doesn't take much to split wood with this thing. Let's try another. Then I'll bring down the table, the blade to uh, center the uh, foot, and go ahead and put that puppy. 